say hello to each other. They wave! <laughs> Do you get it? Like the waves on the ocean? Yeah. Thanks, kids!
That's just the coolest. What is that? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. You have fuzzy chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain, get off there. Problem, guys. This could be fat. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy, you are way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I don't think those are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it. Yowzers. Gross. That there's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back here. We're going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. You blink. Spray him, granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Mayday, mayday. Be gone down. Ken, could you please call... Could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check out my new resume. I made it fold out brochure. You see fold out. Oh, no, more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time, this time, this time, this time, this. Drapes. This is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills in my top ten favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. Wow, I leave job interviews to say flabbergasted. Can't believe it. <laughs> I found a girl 
Yeah. Hey, let me get a lemonade. I don't want a lot of ice, though. Because sometimes I got to be like, yo, can I get a lemonade with all this ice? You know what I'm saying? Winter Chick-fil-A and ordered fries. <laughs> yeah. You already know what kind of size. Let me get that large, though. <laughs> it will be my pleasure they look me in the eye <laughs> when i bite into it i'm a lie fresh from the fire i don't want to waste no time burn the roof of my mouth it will not be with it tonight when i go to sleep i dream about them continuously there Five. I can look away when fries just make my face. Uh-huh. Went back again, ordered a number five. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look. You know how the pagan chit chat goes. I like R's and V's and O's. I don't really play no tic tac toe. Been with chubs through highs and lows. We seen man last night, they froze. Was no cameras, was no pose. Just like that one time at Cella. Good thing man weren't pulling out phones. Stay in big six six with woes. Man start dissing and doing repose. They do anything except rolls. Still can't see them after it snows. I don't have time for the waste man jokes. Personal thing if I'm getting up close. Loyal to Oaks, I've taken an old Versace. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Shake it up a bit. Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello, Barry, Adam. Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. You so stairs. Your father paid good money for this. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. All bees. Very proud. My, I got a thing going here. You got lint on your fresh. Ow, that hurt. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118000. Bye, Barry. I told you. Stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz? Shell a little. Special day. Graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three-day grade school. Three-day high school. Those were awkward. Three-day college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the cave. You needed to come back different. Hi, Barry. Already growing a mustache. Looks good. Heard about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows. Seeing someone you die. Don't waste it on squirrels. Such a hothead. I guess you could have just gotten out of the way. I love the... That's incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, say we are men. We are. Be men. Amen. Hallelujah. The students facility, distinguished bees. Please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome, New Hive City, graduating class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies and begins your career at Hunnex Industries. Will we pick our jobs today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the shrimp at all times. Wonder what it'll be like? A little scary. Welcome to the Hunnex, a division of Hunco and part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Wow, wow. We know that you as a bee have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work your whole life. Honey begins with our 
Valiant pollen jocks bringing nectar to the hive. Our top secret facilities is automatically color coordinated, sensitive jess and bubble contoured into the soothing sweet syrup with its distinguished golden glow you know as honey. That girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is? Yes, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. At Hunnex, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress technology, a new helmet technology. Stress testing. What do you think you made? It's not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the Kralman. What does that do? Catches the little strands of honey that hang after you pour it. Save us, saves us millions. Can anyone work on the Kremlin? Of course. Most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job if it's done well means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in that job you pick the rest of your life. The same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees says this species haven't gone one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death. Well, she'll try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's insane choice I have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please keep clear the gate. Real nectar force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, are those pollen jocks? Wow. I've never seen them this close before. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, Jocks. Hi, Jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Your day is not planned. Outside the hive flying, who knows where you're doing, who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, there's more pollen than you and I will ever see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies aren't there because it's too distant. Distant. Look at these two couple of hive hairies. Let's have some fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. He had a paw in my throat and with the other he was slapping me. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles up. Barry, a puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I'm not. You are not. We're going z one 0900 at J-Gate. What do you, where, what do you think, busy boy? Are you be enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Hanex, Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in. Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only got one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about stirring. You grab the stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey feels just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with the stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you're so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son will stir. You're going to be a stir? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm going to get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax. Shave my antenna. Shack up with a grasshopper. Get a gold tooth and call everyone dog. I'm so proud. We're starting more today. Today's the day. Come on. All the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stumpy, pouring, stirring, front desk, hair removal. Is it still unavailable? Hang on, two left. One of them is yours. Congratulations. Steps aside. Where'd you get picking crud out? Stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you. Go. Oh, my. What's available? Restroom attendance open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance you're getting on the Kremlin? Sure, you run. I'm sorry. The Kremlin just closed out. Wax money's already open. The Kremlin opened up again. What happened? A bee died. Makes an opening. See, he's dead. Another one dead. Dead. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stunting bee, pouring, stir, hunting, inspecting, number seven, blend coordinator, stripe, supervisor, mint wrangler. Barry, what do you think I should do? Barry? Barry, all right. We got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? Going out. Out at where? Up there. Oh, no. I have to before I go to work the rest of my life. You're going to die. You're crazy. Hello. Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd that gets the roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Really feeling lucky, are you? Sign here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay, you got a rain advertise you today? Advisory today, and you all know bees cannot fly in rain, so be careful. As always, watch your brooms. Hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bees, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports on root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because it's babbling like a piccata. That's awful. Is a reminder for your rookies? Be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch position. Buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow. Hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Wind check. Antenna check. Nectar pack check. Wings check. Stinger check. Skid out in my shorts check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias. You stripe some stem suckers all you drain those flowers wow i'm out i can't believe i'm out so blue i feel so fast and free fox kites wow flower that's the blue leader we have roses visual bring it around 
Hi, Dad. Hold on. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees. Roger, bring it around. Staying to the side, kid. It's got a big bit of a kit. That one, that is one nectar collector. Ever see pollen up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over there, maybe a dash over there, pinch on that one. See that? It's just a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could that be daisies? Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Wait, one of those flowers seems to be on the move. Say that again, you're reporting a moving flower. Affirmative. That was on the line. That's just the coolest. What is that? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. You have fuzzy chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain. Get off there. Problem, guys. This could be fat. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You are way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I don't think those are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start pecking up, honey, because you're about to eat it. Yowzers. Gross. That there's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back here. We're going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. You blink. Spray him, granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Mayday. Mayday. Be gone down. Ken, could you please call... Could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check out my resume. I made it fold out brochure. You see fold out. Oh, no, more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time, this time, this time, this time, this. Drapes. This is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills in my top ten favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. Wow, I leave job interviews to say flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's the way. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B. Sending back those are winter books. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. That thing could kill me. Why does his life have any more less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying our life is value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. Hi, Rocher. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an al allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right. Bye. Vanessa, thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt and I sure can. You know, whatever. You could put carob chi chips on there. What? Bye. It's supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. All right, here goes now. What would I say? I could really get in trouble. To be law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No, yes, no. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's not good. Here's your cotton speaky fool. Hi, I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming. They don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am, and I'm not supposed to be doing this. But you, they were trying to kill me. If it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with the bee. Yeah, I'm talking to a bee, and that bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing, the same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey, you pick it up. That's funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we had to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something like what? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't want to get pull. I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple of micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you all right? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs in on the church. The wedding is on. He says, watermelon? I thought you said watermelon. Watermelon or watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You sure? You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I really wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there. See it? You're in Sweet Meadows. Yeah, I'm right off the turtle pond. No way. I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all right, ma'am? Oh, yeah. Fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. I'd be, if I did, I'd be up for the rest of my life. Are you? Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Well, then, I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry Ann, thank you so much again for before. Oh, that? That was nothing. Well, not nothing. But anyway, this can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave, Dave pulled a shoot. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. So scary to have a missed moment of my life. Humans. I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy. Giant things. They drive crazy. Do they try to kill you? Like on TV, some of them. Some of them don't. How'd you get back? Poodle, you did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you can make your job be more. Well, 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 I met someone. You did? What, was she beatish? A wasp? Your prince would kill you. No, no, not a wasp. Spider, I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hottest thing with all the eight legs. I can't get by the face. So who is she? She's human. No, no, that's a bee law. You wouldn't break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh, boy, she's so nice that she's the florist. I know you're dating human florist. We're not dating. You're flying inside the hive talking to humans that attack our home. 
with power washers and M80s, one eighth of a stick of dynamite. She saved my life and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? Call it a crumb. It was so stinging stripy and there was not. And that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. You know what a cinnamon bun is? No. It's bread and cinnamon frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We are us. There is us and there is them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There is no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have start, got to start thinking me, my friend. Think B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? i got to start thinking B. How much longer would this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got... A lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You barely be. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You come and got everything all set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too late. Watch this. Finesse. We're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, you gotta go. Where are you doing? I'm meeting a friend of girls. That way you can't decide bye. I just hope she's beeish. You had a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena to be in the tourist of roses. That's tournament of roses. That's every floral ju florist stream up on a float surrounded by flowers crowd cheering at tournament. Do the roses compete in athletic events? No. All right. I got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see. All right. Your turn. TV. You could just freeze live TV. That's insane. You don't have that? We have high but that's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my, dumb bees. You must want to sting all these jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us, so you have to watch your temper very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter, and throw it out. Work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah, what is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, creep. What was that? A pick and save circular? Yeah, it was. How'd you know? Feels like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much her limit. You really got that down to a sentence. I lost a cousin to an Italian vogue once. I'll bet. What was his name with Mighty Hercules? Is this? How did this guy hear? QP, Golden Blossom, Ray Leo to private selection. I heard he is an actor. I never heard of him. Why is this here for people we eat it? Oh. Why is this here for people who eat it? You don't have enough food to yawn? Well, yes. How do you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it. And it's hard to make. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole crumb, crumb and thing. It's organic. It's our organic. It's just honeyberry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is ceiling. A lot of ceiling. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And this is on sale. I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all this. Hey, Hector, you almost done to almost. He's here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. And just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I knew I heard someone. So you can talk, I can talk, and now you'll start talking. Where'd you get the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want to do is upset Beast. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lent for my iguana. Iguanco. Kill. Where is the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It came from honey farms. Crazy person. What a horrible, horrible thing has happened there. These faces, they never knew what hit them, and now they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead to where I looked at. They will wipe anything that moves. Where are you headed? To honey farms. I'm on to something huge here. I'm going to Alaska Moose Farm. Crazy stuff. Blow your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you really... And you? He really is dead. All right. Uh-oh. What is that? Oh, no. A wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade? Jump on. It's your only chance, B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much... Do you people need to see? Open your eyes, stick your head out the window from NPR News and Washington. I'm Carl Castle, but don't kill no more bugs. B, moose blood guy, you heard something like what? Like tiny screams. Turn off the radio. What's up, B boy? Hey, blood, just around the pun dress as far as the eye could see. Wow, I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that's honey's ours. Bees. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed up. It's a close community. Not us, man. We're on our own. Every mosquito on us. And what if you get in trouble? You're a mosquito. You in trouble nobody likes us they just smack see mosquito smack smack at least you get out in the world you must see girls mosquito girls try to trade up get with the moth dragonfly mosquitoes girls don't want no mosquito you gotta be kidding me moose blood's about to leave the building so long b hey guys moose blood i knew i'd catch y'all down here did you bring the crazy stress you're throwing a dry slap or label on it and it's pretty much pure profit what is this place a bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead they are pinheads pinhead check it out the new smoker oh sweet that's the one you wanted the thomas 3000 smoker 90 posts a minute semi-automatic twice the nicotine all the tar couple breasts of this knocks them right out they make the honey and we make the money. They make the honey and we make the money. Oh my, what's going on here? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We have no choice. This your queen? That's a man and woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. When is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Be honey. Our honey is, is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? 
That's a conspiracy theory there. Are obviously doctored photos. How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend and they make out. Make out, Barry, but we do not. You wish you could. Who side are you on? The bees. I did a cricket once in San Antonio. Those are crazy legs. Kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life. I want to do it for a lot of lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked. Your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What rare do they have for a honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in a lip bong for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can bees do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face, the eye, that would hurt. No, up the nose, it's a killer. There's only one place I can sting humans, one place where it matters. Hi at five, the highs only full hour action news service. No more bee beards. With bomb bomb, we'll let the anchor and dust. Weather with storm stinger. Sports with buzz larvae and Janet Chung. Good Good evening, I'm Bob Bumble and I'm... J Bob Bumble, and I'm Janet Chunk, a tree country bee, very bent and intense, to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it and processing it from it illegally. Tomorrow night on Bee Larry King, we have three former queens here in our studio discussing their new book. Classy ladies out this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think I'm a kid from the hive? I can't do this. Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about Bee Columbus? Bee Gandhi? Bee Jesus? Where I'm from, we never see humans. We are thinking of stickball and candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the bee century. You know they have a Larry King in the human world, too. It's a common name. Next week, he looks like you and has his shown suspenders and colored dots. Next week, glasses close on the bottom from the guest, even though you just heard him. Bear a week next week. They're scary, hairy, and here alive. Always lean forward, pointing shoulder, squinty-eyed, very Jewish, and tends to attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work on here. Is that the same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him see the human race. Hello, hello, bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size 10 and a half. Five missiles, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go because we really... We're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye-bye. Why is the yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at the sprouts. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting, how many sugars? Just one. I try not to use... The competition. So why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloons and bouquets. Now, those are great if you're three. Artificial flowers. Ooh, those get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Ben Stinger's pointless. Pollution. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that's hard work done. Maybe this could make up for it a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home without paying a royalty. It's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan, where the world anxiously waits. We will hear for ourselves as a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gotten ourselves into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans didn't work today. You think billion-dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the bear kids. What's the matter? I don't know. I just got a chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, you boys work on this. All rise. On roll. Judge Bumbleton presents All rise. Case number 4475, Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry is now in section. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively. A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing, you're representing all the beasts of the world. I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor. We're ready to pronounce. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a very simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was a man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in the topsy-turvy world of Mr. Bennett, Benson's imagination, just think of what it would mean. I would like to have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my birch's talking bee. How do we know this is some sort of holographic motion picture capable of... Hollywood wizardry. He could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. Mr. Benson, ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey, it's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it, and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it away from us because we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after this is all over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you're not taking, only taking everything we have, but everything we are. I wish he'd dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Claus Bear Hayden of Honey Farms, big company you have, I suppose so. I see you also on Honey Burton and Honey Run. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeepers, I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No, no. Because you don't free bees, you keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yoke bear, fuzzy bear, built a bear, you mean like this? Bears kill bees. How do you... 
like his head crashing through your living room, biting into your couch, spitting on your throat pillars. Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Stang, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called the police. But you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of bee culture casually stolen by a human. For nothing more than a prince around stage name. Oh, please, have you ever been stung? Mr. Stang, because I'm feeling a little stung. Sting, or should I say Mr. Golden, Gordon M. Sumner? That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Lyettel, first belated congratulation on your Emory win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. See from your resume that you're def very that you're devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I knew what I did. Was that a crime? Not yet, it isn't. But is this what it come to for you? Explaining behind the helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part or your line, sir? Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why doesn't somebody just step on this creep so we can all go home? Order in this court. You're all thinking it. Order, order, I say. Say it. Mr. Loyetta, please sit down. I think that was awfully nice of the bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken, hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could heat it up, yeah, but heat it up, sure, whatever. So I hear quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit, right there. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You don't think I, you think I don't see what you're doing. I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common. Do we bees have 100% employment? But we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry bo borrow your razor for... His fuzz, I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I've just about had it with your little mind games. What's that Italian vogue? Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages, a lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something's stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you love the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug, not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, 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 a royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? Surf's up, dude. Poo water. That bowl is gnarly, except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. He happens to be the nicest bee I've ever met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine, talking bees, no yogurt, and I want to nurse your friend from... Writing on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar free artificial sweeteners made by men. I'm sorry about all that. I know it's gotten out of taste. I like it. I always feel like there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't never come in. Oh, well, are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery's out of ideas. We'd like to call Mr. Barry B. Vance into the stand. Good idea. You can't really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Layton, you've got, got to weave some magic with this jury. It's going to be all over. Don't worry, the only thing I have to do is turn the shoe around just to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers, are you allergic? Only to losing sun, only to losing. Mr. B Benson, B, I ask you what we think we all like to know. What exactly is your relationship with that woman? We're friends. Good friends, yes. How good do you live together? Wait a minute, are you her little bud bug? I've seen bee documentary, do from what I understand. Doesn't your queen give birth to all the bees' children? Yeah, but so those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry, yes they are. Hold me back, you're a legitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't y'all date your cousins. Objection. I'm gonna pink cushion this guy. Adam Donuts, what he wants? Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I am hit. Order, order. The venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. I have been felled by a winged beast of destru destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They're, stri they're striped savages. Singing is the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy? will come for to suck the poison from having buttocks. I will order in this court. Order, order, please. The case of the honeybee versus the human race took a point again, turning against the bees. You stay when one of their legal teams stung Lane T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy, hey, is there much pain? Yeah, I, I believe the whole case. Didn't I? It doesn't matter what matters since you're alive. You could have died and I'd be better off dead. Look at me. He got it from the cafeteria downstairs. It's a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all adrenaline, all adrenaline, and then, and then, X day. All right, you think it was all a shock? Of course, I'm so sorry. I flew right into this. What were you thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What will humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my, could you get a nurse to close the window? Why? They smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right, bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is. It's not over. Get that dressed. I've got to go somewhere. 
Get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done the step correctly, you're ready for the top. Mr. Flamin, yes, Your Honor. Where's the rest of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly at have haphazardly, and as a result, we don't make very good timing. I actually heard a funny story about Your Honor having these ridiculous bugs taken enough enough taken up enough of this court's valuable time. How much longer? Will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients, who run legitimate businesses. I move this to complete dismissal of the entire case. Mr. Flamin, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What? This is harmless little contraction? This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at what has happened to the bees who have never been... Ask smoking or not? Is this what nature intended for us? Be forcibly addicted to smoke machines and man-made winds that would war camps, living out our own lives as honey snakes to the white man? What are we going to do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free these bees. Free the 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 bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we want I know you, you could do it. High five. Sorry. I'm okay. You know what this means? All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy preservation of the balance of nature, Benjamin. Benson, you'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the bee way a long time, 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? First, we'll demand a complete shutdown of all bee work camps. Then we'll wind back with the honey that was ours to begin with every last shop. We demand an end to glorification of the bear as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath, stinky machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods, right? Wait for my signal. Take him out. He'll have nauseous for a few hours, and then he'll be fine. We will no longer tolerate B negative nicknames, but just prance around stage me. A necessary inclusion of honey and bogus health products, and la da da human tea time snack garnishes. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it, Mr. Buzzwell. We just passed three cups, and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down. We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What are we doing now? Cannonball. We're shutting down honey production. Mission abort. Abort. Young po pollination and extra detail. Return to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh, yeah, what's going on? Where is everybody? Are they celebrating their home? They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I heard your Uncle Carl's on his way to San Antonio with the cricket. At least we got our money back. Sometimes I like to think so. What if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be a part of making it. This was my new job. This was my new... This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't hate. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me this? What happened here? This is not the half that. Oh no, oh my, they're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm going to guess bees, bees, specifically me. I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect things. It's not just flowers. Fruits, vegetables, they all need bees. That's our whole SAT test right there. Take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom, and then of course the human species. So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south from here, couldn't it? I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? Did I do it? I'll just sting you. You soap me. That kills you, you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry. I'm sorry, but you gotta get going. But I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa, Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going to the final tournament of Rice's Parade in Pasadena? I'm moving it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never wanted for it to turn out like this. I don't mean either. Turn into the roses. Roses can't do sports. We meant roses, roses, roses. Vanessa, roses. Berry, roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers, bees, pollen. I know. That's why this is the last plane. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down, Barry? Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. He has a kind of face. You ruined the plan. I want to help you. With the flower shop, I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling, but I have another idea, and it's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right. They have the roses, and roses have pollen. I know everybody we plant a flower bud in this park. What we got to do is get what they got there back here. Bees Park, pollen, flower, re pollution across the nation. Tournament of Roses, Pasadena, California. They got nothing but floats, flowers, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Best in S Bloom. FTD, official florist business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Thank you. What was a gift? Once inside, we just picked the right flock. How about the princess and the bee? I could be the princess and you could be the bee. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? What are you? I believe from the pea. The pea, it goes under the mattress. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that. The whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this little baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? 
Then all we gotta do is blend in with traffic without arousing suspicion. Once we get to the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop, security. You and your insect pack float. Yes, it's a been your position the entire time. Would you remove your shoes? Remove your stinger. It's a part of me. I know. Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then if we're lucky, we'll have just enough fun to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough fun to do the job. I think this is gonna work. It's gotta work. Attention passengers, this is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry, th these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I help you with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trigger. Captain, a minute real situation. What'd you say? Hell, nothing. B, don't freak out. Mind her species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's the attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would Miss Vanessa Bloom and for d 2 b please import to the cockpit and please hurry. What happened here? There was a dust batter, a toupee, a lift raft exploded. One's bald, one's in a boat. They're both unconscious. Is that another B joke? No. No one's flying the plane. This is JFK Control Tower, flight 356. What's your status? Is Vanessa Bloom on floors from New York? Where's the pilot? He's unconscious. So is the co-pilot. Co Not good. Does anyone on board have flying experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Well, who's that? Barry Benson from the ho Honey Trip. Honey Tribal. Oh, great. Vanessa, there's nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travola a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry, we've headed into some landing. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late night breaking news from JFK Airport where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory. That's Barry, is attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and incapable flight crew. Flowers? Incapitated flight crew. Flowers, we have a storm in the area and two individuals at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute, there isn't to be on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and there's no accounting. Comrades, they've done enough damage, but isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Oh, I lost my place. Wait, Barry, we're heading into some landing. This is Bob. Oh, wait. Just a minute, there's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no account comrades. They've done enough damage, but isn't your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. The wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wing and body mass makes no sense. Get this on air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making a honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs, but let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realize to us, to anyone. That's why I want to get the bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow, black and yellow. Hello. Left, right, down, hover. Hover, forget hover. This one's so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what's happening? Wait, I think we were on autopilot the whole time. You may not have been helping me, and now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All you, let's get behind this fellow. Move out. Move out. Only chances if you do what I do. You cut me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. This is very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on. It's my turn. How's the plane flying? I don't know. Hello. Benson, got any flowers from a happy occasion there? The pawn jobs. They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. All right, let's drop this tin can on the blacktop. Where? I don't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You got to think bee, Barry. Thinking bee, thinking bee, thinking bee, thinking bee, thinking bee. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong. Pulling me like a 27 million year old insect. Bring the nose down. Thinking bee, thinking bee, thinking bee. What in the world is on the charm? Get some lights on that. Thinking bee, thinking bee, thinking bee. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay. Out of engines. We're going in on bee power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good, good. Easy now. That's it. Land on the flower. Ready? Pull her first. Spin it around. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? The flower. Mimi at the flower. This is that guy in a flower suit. I meant the giant pulsating flower. Made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Nose down. Tail up. Rotate around. It. This is insane, Barry. There's only one way I know how to fly. My cuckoo, she was this plane flying like an in, in an insect like pattern. Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Fall reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. Come on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes, no high five, right? Barry did a work. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the giant flower. That was genius. Thank you. But we're not done yet. Listen, everyone, this runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We got on we're the only ones who make honey pollinate flowers and dress like this. We're going to survive as a species. This is our moment. What do you say? We're going to be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains? We're bees. Keychains. And follow me. Except keychains. Hold on, Barry. Here. You for this. Yeah, I'm a pollen jock and it's a perfect fit. All you got to do are the sleeves. Oh, yeah, that's our Barry. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call now, the time. I've got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help? Who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It's be approved. Don't forget these 
milk, cream, cheese, it's all me, and I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I have no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry, I'm late. He's a lawyer, too. I was trying to get butt blood sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a good afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip border and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Manny. Just leave it to me. Your life saver, Barry. Can I help us next? All right, scramble jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. One way this nightmare end. Let it go. Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You've got to start thinking, be my friend. Think, me, me. Hold it. Let's just start. Stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. All right, take time. Wrap it up, guys. I have virtual. I've never. I have virtually no rehearsal for that.